In the ever-evolving world of Fortnite, one feature revolutionized the way players practice and hone their skills, creative mode. But has this addition inadvertently caused a significant shift in the game's skill gap? Was adding creative mode a mistake from Epic Games? Most importantly, will Fortnite ever feel the same again? In December 2018, Fortnite introduced a game changer, creative mode. This new feature allowed players to build and experiment in their own sandbox environments. It was a place for players to perfect their building and combat skills away from the chaos of battle. The introduction of creative mode brought many advantages to Fortnite. It gave players the opportunity to experiment with new building techniques, practice their aim, and even create their own mini games within the game. Players could work on their weaknesses and hone their skills in a low pressure environment. This was a game changer, right? Well, think again, because Fortnite's creative mode expanded. It brought about un unintended consequences. One of the most prominent changes was the rapid increase in the game's skill gap. In the early days of Fortnite, the skill gap was relatively manageable. Players had time to adapt to new building mechanics, learn from their mistakes, and gradually improve. However, with the introduction of creative mode, the gap began to widen at an alarming rate. Creative mode allowed players to fast track their skill development. Those willing to put in the time and effort could quickly become experts in building, editing, and combat techniques. The difference between a casual player and a competitive player began to feel insurmountable. Replay mode, another addition to Fortnite, allowed players to review their gameplay and learn from their mistakes, but it also provided a way for players to scrutinize their opponent's strategies and techniques, leading to a copy-paste culture that changed gameplay styles. With players refining their skills at an unprecedented pace, the game's meta began to shift rapidly. What once was a dynamic and evolving landscape soon became predictable. As players mimicked the most successful strategies, Fortnite comp competitive scene lost some of its unique flair. For the casual player, this shift in the game's skill gap was overwhelming. Epic Games tried to balance matches by implementing skill-based match matchmaking, but the reality was that they were frankly pitted against opponents with vastly superior skills. Winning became a rarity for many casual players. As the skill gap continued to grow, the Fortnite community became divided. Some praised creative mode for its role in elevating the game's competitive scene, while others lament lamented the loss of a more accessible and diverse Fortnite of old. In the end, creative mode in Fortnite undoubtedly transformed the way players practice and develop their skills. It gave birth to a new generation of highly skilled players and paved the way for a more competitive esports scene. However, it caused the skill gap to widen at an unprecedented rate, leaving casuals feeling left behind. As Fortnite continues to evolve, its developers face the challenge of striking a balance between catering to the competitive community and keeping the game accessible to all. The future of Fortnite's skill gap remains uncertain, but one thing is for sure, creative mode has left an inedible mark on the game's history. Whether you love it or hate it, creative mode has had a profound impact on Fortnite. It, it has empowered players to reach new heights of skill and com competitiveness, yet it has le also left so many wondering if the game they once loved will ever be the same.